Hi guys, welcome back. In this section, we will look at the different visualization templates available for you to create your charts. But for this lecture, we will focus on the bar chart, line chart, area chart and pie chart. To begin with, let's click on new visualization and choose a template. So this is a starting point. Any of these can start and then end on any other kind of chart. Well, that's what starting point means. Once you open a starting point, you can adjust the settings to make it more like any of the others made with the same template, which means you can start with a bar chart and end with a waterfall chart. You can start with a donut chart and change settings to make it a column chart, which is a proportional one and even an area chart stat. Well, do not confuse you further, let me start. But before that, have a look at the kind of charts available in a single template. There are area charts, bar charts, column charts, line charts, waterfall, pyramid charts, pie charts and area charts as well. And of course, donut and donut grid charts. All right, we will begin by clicking on the bar chart. So what does this template can do? It can visualize everything from ranking to distribution, from magnitude to change over time and parts to a whole. So to get started, you can either choose to continue with the existing set of data available or you can choose to upload your own data. When you upload your own data, make sure that there is a column containing labels for each instant of data like years or premium league football teams etc in a line bar or area chart these will become the values or categories along the x-axis in the pie chart they will become the slices as a default flourish assumes the first column a holds the labels and the rest of the columns holds the different series but if your csv or excel file isn't in this order you can easily change this on select columns to visualize panel under the data tab. Once you have input your data, you should be able to see a preview of your chart in the bottom right corner. If you switch back to the preview tab, you can tweak the styles of the chart. So use the column chart. These are the standard choice for comparing things. But they can also be used to show change over time, especially for a single series. You can then use line charts that are ideal for showing changing time series as well as trends and developments over time. Then there are bar charts that are good for comparing size, especially on small screens. They are a good alternative to column charts when the data are not time series or access labels are long. Further. Area charts are great to show how a total and their shares developed over time. Think about them as a combination of a line chart and a column chart. And lastly, the pie charts are used to display parts of a whole. Use these to show how an entity breaks down into its components. These are the different charts that you can make from one starting point to another. That is, if you can start with a column chart, you can continue and move up to different chart types like area, pie or a bar. If you start with a pie chart, you can make an area or a bar chart. If you start with a line chart, you can make an pie, a bar chart or a pie chart. So you can do those internal transformations and that all can happen under the settings section. So let's have a look at all the different charts you have a bar chart grouped which is currently selected now what is the difference in a bar and a column chart the bar charts are horizontal as you can see and now if i look at column chart grouped the same chart will be a vertically standing lines with exactly showing the same dimensions colors etc everything remaining the same so this is the column chart grouped Let's start with the one that is on the top, the line chart. So this is the line chart. We are seeing exactly the same values, right? But just in a different way. 
So this is a line chart. Let's now look at the area chart that is a stacked area chart. This is a percentage wise stacked area chart which is a having a 100% highest value. And then we have a unstacked area chart. There is also a stream graph, right? It doesn't have access labels. This is called as a stream graph. Again, going back to the column chart, you see the transitions, they are so beautiful. Uh, the column chart, the grouped one, column chart that is a stacked one and column chart that is a 100% stacked column chart. Also, we have a column chart that is under a waterfall category. This is a column chart, but showing in a waterfall view. Now let's have a look at the different bar charts. These are nothing but horizontal column charts. Then we have a bar chart that is a stacked bar chart and we then have a bar chart which is a 100% stacked bar chart. And again, we have a bar chart which is a waterfall bar chart. Let's now look at the pie chart or the donut chart. Let me show you later how to convert a pie to a donut or a donut to a pie. But this is exactly you can convert from a line or a bar chart to a pie or a donut chart. Further, we have combo charts that are line and bar grouped. Then we have lines and columns which are stacked. And then we have lines and columns that are stacked 100%. And lastly, we have combo lines and areas that are stacked. And we have one last over here that is combo lines and lines. So you see all the different possible combinations of the different charts, the line, the area, the stack, the pie, the donut, they are all available under one starting point and they can be converted from one to another. This is the beauty of Flourish. In the next lecture, we will have a look at the different settings we can do under these chart types of line, bar and pie. Thank you.